Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Organized with Joy, and welcome to another Declutter With Me video. I share these videos at the end of every month to show you everything I've decluttered that month and just give you a little explanation of why I've chosen to declutter each item. This is just to give you some inspiration or ideas of things you might be able to declutter around your home. And every month, this is a collaboration, an open collaboration for anyone who would like to join. So if I have some friends joining this month, I will be sure to link their videos or the playlist in the description box below. The first thing that I will share with you is this box that is behind me. It's actually not something I decluttered. My daughter has been on a decluttering kick, I guess. I have rubbed off on her and this is a box of items that she is parting with. It is stuffed animals, um, some toys from when she was younger, and then there are some items from her college apartment that she no longer loves or uses. And I won't go through each item individually since it's not really something I decluttered, but I did want to mention it. She actually also decluttered another two big garbage bags full of clothing. I know last Last month I shared um, she had decluttered a garbage bag of clothing. Um, she's continuing to go through her items and declutter and so um, I don't have them here in the laundry room but that is something else that is leaving my home this month. Okay next up I have this mattress topper. My son used this in his college apartments. He previously had um, a furnished college apartment and the beds are not very comfortable in those apartments so he always used a mattress topper but this year it was actually an unfurnished apartment so we bought him a new mattress and that mattress is comfortable enough where he doesn't need the mattress topper. Recently I replaced some baskets on the shelves in my game room. Um, I shared a video where I did that if you're interested in going to see what those baskets look like, but I had these black wire baskets there previously and I thought about saving them and using them for a different organization project, but I don't have anything in mind and I'm not a huge fan of um, using baskets like this to organize just because there's holes and things can fall through. Um, this is just not really my style and so um, I've had them for several years. Um, they actually used to be a different metal color and I spray painted them but now I'm just ready to part with them. I have four of these but I'm just showing you this one. Really quickly, I'll mention this. Last month I got rid of some hot pads and I mentioned I had two that were like this and I didn't know where the other one was. Apparently it was in my son's room. So that has emerged and it's going. Next up is this alarm clock. My middle son had used this um, probably since he was in middle school. Um, but now he said he really just uses his phone as an alarm clock, so there's no need to hold on to this. Next up, I have this pair of shoes. I really love the look of them still. I love the style, um, but they really are falling apart. So I think it's time to let them go, and because they're falling apart, they're becoming kind of uncomfortable. Next up, I have these three little pumpkin succulent things. Um, I have had these for several years. I got them in the Target dollar spot many years ago for the fall season, and this year I did not use them to decorate for fall, so I decided since I didn't set them out that I can probably part with these. Next up um, are these colored pencils. Uh, my daughter is cleaning out her space and she found these colored pencils. I use colored pencils for a Bible study that I do and apparently I didn't realize I had given her these because I purchased other ones so I have 
a whole other set of colored pencils for me to use. And since she doesn't want these and I have a new set, I don't see a reason to keep these. Lastly for this month, this is a little bit sad, but when my daughter was going through all of the toys in the attic, um, she came across this Samantha doll. It is an American Girl doll, and it actually was mine from when I was younger, and I had given it to her, but she was pretty ruthless on getting rid of um, toys and stuffed animals from that space, and this was just something that she didn't really have any sort of emotional or sentimental connection to, and I decided that I'm okay with getting rid of it as well. Well, surprisingly this month, I just don't have a lot of stuff that I'm decluttering. Um, so that is it for this month, but I hope this video gave you some inspiration or motivation to go declutter spaces from your home. And remember to check out any of the ladies who are participating this month, their videos down below for even more decluttering motivation. But thank you so much for watching until the end, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.